lots of exciting stuff going on in today's video. So as you can see, there's a flag in. So I'll show you guys how we did that and why I did it so early, mostly because it's Masters Week, but you guys see the root system of this. It's looking really, really good. Um, we've got a greens roller here as well. So we're gonna roll the green. I'll explain why golf courses use greens rollers. Mine's not really ready for regular use with one, but we use it to fix up a few areas. Um, we're gonna do the surrounds. Um, just possibly even top just to see how we go, but let's get into it. Yo mate, what up? Welcome to another lawn tip vid. Okay, so first things first, before we get into anything, you can see, oh my goodness, how much this is filled in. Like, it is knitted up completely here. Even our bare spots now, which are like these spots just here, have got grass all throughout it. The only reason they look a little bit purpley at the moment, if you guys can see, is because that's actually sand just sitting on the leaf after we rolled it with that greens roller. That's just over there, which I'll get to that in a minute. We might even roll it today as well. We'll see how things progress. But the area is looking really, really good. We are so close, man. I give, I can give it, honestly, two weeks and pretty much all the spots are gonna be filled in apart from our bare patches on the edges. Now, the tagger that we used in last week's video is working awesome, honestly. This spot here always used to get lots and lots of wash through here and ruts and everything from that sprinkler just there. Look at this. This is holding firm as, like, I've never seen sand do that when you're putting so much water on it. And even the spot down here, we can see we always used to get wash and ruts running through as well because the water would run from the sprinkler down through this area. We're safe, man. We are safe. That is honestly ideal. So I rate that stuff. It's awesome. Haven't had any big storms to see how it goes against like 10 to 20 mil in an hour or two, but just from the sprinklers, it's definitely made a difference. Here, one frustrating thing though is all this duck poop from the ducks. We've had like a massive family of them move in. We've had like 30 ducks hanging out on the dam because there's lots of bugs in there, lots of dragonflies, but the ducks are frustrating me. I don't know what it is with ducks and golf greens. Probably all of the um, in nutrients that are in the green, they love to pick at. Not really making it any damage, but they just keep pooping everywhere. So I come down here every morning and pick off about 100 poops. How much poos can they do, man? How many poos you got in your bank? So as you can see, we've now got the pin in. Bro, so exciting. So I know a lot of you guys said in the comments that I should wait a little bit longer to do this. Um, but it's Masters week, and I thought, you know what, I wanna get it down. Wouldn't mind having some putting with the family over Easter weekend, it'll be good fun when they're all here. And it is legit tightened up so much in the last three to four days that it's pretty much ready for a cup. Well, you know, for a home green that's not getting traffic on it every single day, and not gonna get damaged from all the traffic on it like you would on a golf course. If this was a golf course, and you got like 100, 200 golfers coming through, you would not put a pin in it and make this thing playable. Putting a hole in, very simple process. A lot of you guys might not know how they do it on a golf course, so I'll just explain it for you guys right now. So, what you use, you use something called a hole changer. So I've got, this is my little brother, he actually bought this over from the golf course um, to help me change it, because I've got an old hole changer in the shed, but it needs to be fixed up a little bit or I might get a new one, we'll see how things go. Not cheap though. Um, and you take a plug out of the ground basically. These ones here actually have a depth that it sets to and you can see it'll stop as soon as we get to the bottom. Even with a little level on the top of it as well. Um, pull it out and ideally you want your hole plug to hold together. Now I was a little bit scared that it might not because it's such a new green but it really did hold together. I mean you can see the roots in this, like the roots are down at 110 mil on the green, which is, which is just ridiculous for, we're nearly at six weeks, we're about five and a half weeks since we sowed this green. So you take your plug out, put your cup in, set it down and drop your pin in that area. And then you take the plug that you pull out and you will usually put it in the previous hole that you had there, if that makes sense. So you pull the old cup out, the old pin, put the plug into that spot there. But obviously we didn't have that here, so we, I just put it on the outside in a slightly bare area and that was the most simple way to do it. So I also got my little brother to drop off the greens roller. So I've been borrowing that. I've only got that until tomorrow. So let's see how we go. Might get a roll on today. I'm not really sure, but I need it to be super dry so it doesn't collect sand and make a little bit of a mess just because we've still got quite a bit of sand around the area. But the main reason I'm using it today is basically 
or have been using it, sorry, is just to fix up the edges because there was quite a few humps and bumps on the edges and we just needed that roller to sort of flatten them out and fix up those areas there for me, which honestly, I did a cut afterwards after the first time we did it and we don't, the mole's not actually bouncing around anymore and it is so much smoother and it leads in from the, the second cut to the green so nicely now that we've done that. So there's a few reasons why golf courses use greens rollers. One of the main reasons is to make your greens a little bit quicker and to get rid of all those imperfections that happen after getting lots and lots of pitch marks on there. Not that it's gonna completely fix your pitch marks, but it will level them out quite a bit. Sometimes you have to manually go there as a greenkeeper and actually fix those if they're ridiculous. But yeah, one reason is to speed up your greens, firm them up a bit as well. Um, also allows you to stop cutting all the time. So you can give your greens a bit of a rest from mowing um, once you start using a roller because your greens are still gonna be quick even if you're cutting a little bit higher. So a lot of guys, instead of going down to like three mil, or even some courses go nuts and go down to two mil, some of the courses on the PGA Tour. But it means you can bring up your height of cut, you know what I mean? So instead of cutting at three mil, we could cut at five mil and roll your greens every single day. And they could even skip a day and roll it and you're still gonna be fine because you've still got that pure surface there. I know you guys are a little bit disgusted by all of these weeds here but we will be spraying them out probably in the next video because the only reason I haven't sprayed them is because of all the new seed that I sowed when we did that aeration and I have only done one cut since that. So once I've done this cut today, which I'm about to do on the surrounds, we're going to spray out all of these weeds. So lots of plantain in here. That's mostly what's here. It almost looks like cabbage all over the place to be honest. Won't be hard to get rid of it. We will spray that out. Also got a little bit of clover, mostly, mostly clover and plantain. Also got a little bit of this mallow here as well, which is really, really tiny. All gonna be really, really easy to get rid of though with a general broadleaf herbicide. So we may use some, probably some Dicamba M to be honest on this area because we are not gonna be overseeding any more times. And this new grass has popped through. He's been up for long enough. It's been, it's nearly been three weeks I think. So next video, you guys will get what you want and these weeds will be gone. <laughs>quite a few weeds in there but how pure is that rye grass starting to look thick really lush lots of new growth coming through which is nice mate that color in contrast to the bent even it's just like next level <laughs> love it cannot wait till these edges are filled in it's all looking nice and lush but me look at that whoo I haven't cut it for a while feels good to get that cut done seriously so so good now I've still got my little nursery here which is starting to fill back in as you can see some new seed coming up um, which I'm using for some bare spots so if we worst comes to worst we might put some of that grass on the edges like in the really really bad spots along here if this stuff doesn't germinate well but I think it's going to because of the amount of Look at that tack of fire stuff we put down on that area as well. Man, look at that. Look at those stripes popping, bro. Whew. Man. Mm. It's exciting. <laughs> look at this. This looks so clean. From there, like across to the green, man. Bro. So good. And look at this. Like, it is lush. It is looking absolutely pure at the moment. See what it is foam after rolling it. <laughs> right, let's give this a go. Now this is gonna be super quick. I wish I had a stint meter to show you guys. Probably could just make one to be honest, but meh. It's all good. We'll get one. Whoa, rolling a lot more pure as well. It's gonna go way past. Holy dooly. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely rolling quicker. Wow. Just wanna show you guys how big of a slope this actually is. I'm just gonna sit it on top 
and let it roll down and show you how far it rolls. This is right on the edge of the slope here. I'm not gonna touch it, I'm just gonna let it roll. Oh, I wish you guys could see how much of a slope that actually is. But we are gonna let this green rest now. I'm probably not gonna mow it. I mowed it yesterday, yesterday, yes. So I'm probably not gonna mow it until Thursday or Friday now. Today's Tuesday. Um, just to really give it a rest from all the mowing and cutting. I've just found after cutting so much that it, it doesn't really need to be cut that much because it's still only so new. So I can back it off a little bit because it's we're starting to get lower and lower clipping yield in our catcher so every time I've cut over the weekend the last couple of days it has slowed down even with the fertilizer and that's probably due to the weather as well um, and everything else but we can back it off a bit give it a rest let it grow let it creep let it do its thing next video we're probably gonna do our top dress as I was saying probably some more fertilizer on the green been doing that every four to five days also due for a granular fert next week again actually doing that every fortnight at about half rate. Spray the weeds as well. Mate, there's a lot going on. I'll tell you what, we're constantly doing things on this. Now, I wanna talk about quickly, fairways and tee boxes are not gonna be done until springtime, just so you guys know, because I'm trying to focus on this area as much as I can. I am one guy and unfortunately, cutting this, like fertilizing it, keeping top of it, top dressing it, all those kind of things are keeping me busy throughout the whole week. So once winter comes, we're running irrigation to our three tee boxes. Um, that are across this paddock just here and we're also going to be putting out two fairways one with cooch and one with zoysia as well now I haven't decided what I want to do with the tea boxes yet probably going to be cooch or something like that just because they're going to be getting divots out of them all the time because it is a par three but we will I will keep you guys up to date with all of that but we're going to get on top of that soon like winter's not really that far off two months and we're in the thick of it so that's when we'll start getting things ticking along for that. Just want to say I appreciate you guys so much watching, following along on this, commenting on the videos. I really, really do appreciate it. That's what's been able to obviously make me be able to do this. So appreciate you guys so much. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in a couple of days when we shoot our next video on the green. Right, we'll give it our first putt. I hope we get this in. It says you've got a lot of break on this. Let's see. Please. Oh, <laughs> oh that's ridiculous. That was so close. What a feeling. <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> oh, love it.